Hey, oh people, I'm Kipper 3 and welcome to a quick little game, hopefully, called The Terrible Old Man. Now, this is actually based off of a Cthulhu novel, and it is a point-and-click horror type thing. You know how much I love those, judging by the Rusty Lake games, the Sally Face, that type of stuff. It's another one of those, um, <clears throat> but I think this is one you can play in. 45 minutes ish um, so hopefully I'll get all of this into one video this is another kind of quickie that I was doing for the October season a Halloween event kind of thing but I'll probably not get this up till after Halloween so I have the hiccups I don't know why anyways let's get right into the terrible old man that I know nothing about so there's not much of an intro so Angelo when are we going to blow this joint? I say we head out tomorrow. It's a few hours drive to Boston. How long are we staying there for? Oh, I'd say just a night. We gotta keep moving. And then we head back to Arkham? That's right. I've been talking to a guy up there who might be able to get us some action. You know? Say, speaking of action, look at that dame over there. She's got something going on, doesn't she? Incredible. Snazik! I don't know how to say that. Snazik! Why don't you get your pasty butt over there and give her your best line? Maybe I will. Maybe I will. I don't know how to... I'm, I'm still working on voices. Like, I, I need to do two separate voices. I don't know. And get us some beers while you're at it. You've still got some cash from the old broad the other night. Night? Question mark? I said that wrong. <laughs> yes, I've got a few books left. I'll just do some weird accent for him. I don't have a dime. Heck, that woman was so old she couldn't even get out of the house to spend her godforsaken dollars. Better old manual here spends it on hooch than let it sit there gathering dust for another two years before she bites it. Dang right. Well then, get us some beers, boy. All right. Left click to interact, right click to observe for inventory and settings, move cursor to top of screen. I am ready. Let's go over here. Three beers. I still don't have a good one for him. I feel like his should just be my normal voice because he's the guy I play as. Three beers, over here. <clears throat> oh crap, there's another one. Where are you guys from? Boston? Innsmouth? None of your gosh darn business. Just give me some beers. Hey, this is my bar. You watch your manners, stranger. Folk are nice around here in Kingsport. We look after each other. Three beers. Please. That'll be two dollars, my foreign friend. Did I get my beers? Do I... Do I pay the man? I guess this might be the owner of this here establishment. He's been giving us the look over since we walked in the door. Woman. That's one mighty fine looking woman. I... I don't know. What she's doing in this pit of a town, I don't know. How about I go talk to her? Say there, miss. Can I have a word with you? Leave me alone, greaseball. Hey, hey, hey. No need for that kind of language, lady. I'm merely trying to conversate. Go conversate elsewhere. Maybe to your mother. I don't know how to do a good woman voice. I'm sorry. Ha! Struck out again, Snazik. I'm just gonna call him Snazik. Suit yourself. So did I get the beers? Can I come sit back down? Richie? Ricky? Richie? Go get the gosh darn beers, Snarzik. Butterman, I gotta give him some cash. Uh... Hey, Manuel. Yeah? What do you think of Kingsport? What else should we do tonight? You looking forward to Boston later? What do you think of Kingsport? It's too close to the sea for my taste. Gulls fouling up my jacket. I do not want this. What else shall we do tonight? 
Let's see where the evening takes us. If I had some dough left, I feel like we could play in the town, Snazik. I can't help but feel we went a bit far the last few nights. I've ticked away a hundred bucks. You guys need to be more careful. Invest your money. Buy suits. And a little hat, too. Hey, stop ragging on my hat, okay? This is a finely crafted piece made by the best hat shop in all of Boston. Good one, Snazik. Get him talking about his hat again. Oh, crap, the both of you. You looking forward to Boston? It'll be nice to have a rest before we go on to Innsmouth. I agree. Later. Yeah. I don't want to endure small talk with the locals of this port. Pictures. They've tried to decorate this dump with some old paint. Pictures. Curtains. I don't want to look outside. I gotta give him some cash. I gotta give him some cash. Do I not have cash? What the heck? Car key and cash. Okay, so I have a menu up there. I was reading the thing right. It was me being dumb. Two dollars, right? Here. So you bears coming right up. It was me being dumb. Gosh darn it, the barrel is dry. I'm gonna have to go, go, go roll up a new one. Sit tight. Sigh. Dicky eating his dinner yet? I swear, we sat a whole chocolate cake in front of his face and he didn't so much as blink. The boy's been affected. You taken him to Dr. Reeves? He'll get to the bottom of it. Well, he's only been acting strange since his run-in with that old fella the other night. I shouldn't let the boy die so late. What happened? You know, that very old man, former sea captain of some sort, you see him around town. Pays for his groceries in golden doubloons. I've heard about him, yeah. Feeble and ancient. I heard he talks to bottles he has lined up on the table inside his house. Calls them names like Spanish Joe and Mate Ellis. It's as if he's speaking to his old crew. Yeah, a most peculiar chap. Best avoid it, I think. No need to upset such folk. Something you need to teach Dickie. A bit of respect. So what happened was Dickie threw a stone at his window, you see, and the old man caught him in the act. Gave him a good talking to, I bet. Dickie won't talk about what happened exactly. Oh dear. He's a stupid boy. You go around throwing stones through old folks' windows and, well, they aren't going to be happy, no matter how feeble they are. I've told him he's not leaving the house for a month, apart from going to his lessons. He must be a quite scary sight for a young lad to face. Fancy that, using gold coins for currency. The man must be sitting on a fortune. <clears throat> Tell me about it. I heard he cap captained clipper ships in the east uncomfortable years back and uncountable years back, sorry, and bought back untold treasure. Sorry about the rate. Here's your beers. Yay, I have beers now. Thanks. Boys, you're not gonna believe it. You got a date with that girl? He wishes. I think we got ourselves a job tonight. We'll spit it out then. I heard those two chaps speaking about a crazy old man who lives in town. So rich he plays with things with gold doubloons. Heck. Gold doubloons? Yeah, he's got a room in his house where he stands there talking to bottles. A rich and senile old fart. <laughs> this sounds like a cinch. Let's get in there tonight and see what he's got to offer. Oh boy, this should be fun. Where's the old man's house? I don't know, they didn't say. Find out, Snazik. Find out, and we may find riches tonight. All right, I gotta talk to simple folk. Say, fellas, what was that you guys were saying about an old man around these parts? What's it to you, stranger? Oh, I just overheard your story. Sounds like a character. Indeed he is. Shuffles about with his cane, dropping gold all over, all over the shoal. 
Where does the old man live? His house is along the coast. A crumbling ancient pile it is, too. One of the oldest houses in Kingsport, I'd venture. What's the address? Oh, you're thinking of visiting him, are you? Why on earth would you want to see him for? A treasure hunter, are you? No. Good. The last thing we need in this town is outsiders bringing their wayward criminal ways with them. So why do you want to know his address? Why should we trust you outsiders? We are traveling salesmen. We wish to interview him for the local paper. We are his long lost relatives. We found something that belongs to him and wish to return it. We're from the tax department. He owes us money. Traveling salesmen. Oh yes, what are you selling? Shoes. Can we have a look at them? I need some new shoes. Sure thing. I'm wearing them right here. You're wearing your stock. What a better way to advertise. I got boxes of them out in the car. Hey, those shoes look very worn. You're full of it, stranger. Lies, lies, lies. Hello again. Oh, I suppose you still want his address. How do we know we can trust you, outsider? Uh, okay, traveling salesman didn't work. I want to do... Local newspaper or tax department. From the tax department. He owes us money. Then surely you would have his address on file. Get lost! Crap. Fine. Hello again. Uh, address. Interview for local paper. Oh, yes. What's the name of the local paper, then? Kingsman Bugle. Huh. That old rag hasn't been printed for years. Lies, lies, and more lies. Crap. Alright, that was the one over there. Okay, there's nothing I can do there. Shoot. Um, do you know about a rich old man who lives in town? Can't say that I do. You must. I don't gossip about locals, sir. This is a respectable town. Pah. What can you tell me about those two guys at the bar? Hey. Hey, we're right here. Mind your own business, stranger. What he said. What can you tell me about the girl over there? She's in here to work all the time. Doesn't look like it doesn't look like she's up to much. What's her line of work? Why don't you ask her, her yourself, later? Let me know when you want those drinks refilled. Not you again. I'm busy. Yeah, yeah. What are you working on? Apart from looking pretty. Well, I might not look busy, but my job requires a lot of thinking. Yeah. What's your vocation? I'm a journalist. Whoa, a big shot. Why am I talking to you? Say, you write for the paper? Yes, the Kingsport Daily Star. Oh, that's what it's called. Interesting. Now get lost before I write an article about outsiders pestering local women in bars. Okay, okay, put your niggers back on, lady. Alright, hello again. Uh, newspaper. Local paper. Kingsport Daily Star. I got mixed up before. We are from the Kingsport Daily Star. Nonsense. It's the truth. We are journalists from Boston. We do freelance work. It sounds like the old man can give us a great story. Imagine the tales he must have. Tales of exploration, treasure, and chivalry. You know what? Go ahead. I don't really believe you, but this is getting annoying now. The old man lives up on Water Street. His property backs into Ship Street near the shore. Outside his home are curious foreign standing stones. An unmistakable sight. Thanks. I appreciate it. Location uncovered. Let's go, boys. Fellas, I got the address. Good work, snazzy boy. Where is it? Back entrance is on Ship Street, by the harbor. Hey, we passed that street on the way here. It's just a few blocks away. Let's go, boys. There's a treasure to be had. I love how I stayed back, yes. Let's go. Alright, just click that. Alright, here we are. 
was the plan, boss. Silva, you and I were going through his ear gate. Snazik, you stay on watch. Okay. Before we do anything, though, looks like there's a light on up there. Snazik, can you have a better look? We gotta make sure we ain't, he ain't watching us. Window. It's too far away. I ain't climbing up there. There's the gate. I'm not messing with the gate until we're set to go. Stone. The stone on the other side of the wall. I ain't going in there. Street lamp. Well, we could try climbing over using the street pole, but the gate seems a bit more conventional choice. Can you not climb the gate? It's not time to go yet. Okay, I get that. That's an old looking gate. I'm not going, I'm not messing with the gate until we're set to go. Silva, what do you think of this place? Well, the house looks like it's seen better days. <laughs> Less gapping. Get to work, Snazik. Where do you think these standing stones are from? Beats me. They give me the creeps. Later. Yeah. Ricci, what do you want me to do? Can you get a closer look at the window? We need to double check what we're dealing with. The old man might have a shotgun fire fixed on us right now, for all we know. Okay, how do I... It's too far away, not worth climbing. House. The old man's house looks ancient. We don't have houses like this where I come from. That's for sure. <clears throat> I bet it smells in there. Musty old rust and socks or some sort. Do I have a car key? Can I not climb on top of the car? It's not time to go yet. Do I not keep it in the... We got a back strap to the back of the ride. It's got a padlock and everything. The trunk is locked by a solitary padlock. Car key. Doesn't fit. This key is just for the ignition. Um. We got a leather box. Can I get the key from someone else? Not interested in going in the gate. Silva, do you have the key for the trunk? Oh, gosh, I do. Here you go. Thank you. Uh, trunk. Wait, do I need the key from my inventory? Oh, nope, I got it. Okay, good. A robber always comes prepared. We got a spyglass, a crowbar, and some masks. That'll come in handy. Stone. Uh, masks. Put the mask on. I'm not gonna stand out here with that thing on. See what the old man is doing first. Fine. Uh, let's go. He is talking to his bottles. He's in there. Silly old fool looks like the easiest target we've ever had. Good work, Snaznik. 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 He really is talking to a bunch of old bottles. As long as we are quiet out here, he shouldn't notice us. He's engrossed in his queer little pursuits. Pathetic. You got our masks? You got our masks, then? Yep. Let's go. Here's the masks. Okay, get that gate open. Alright, open gate. Dang it. The whole thing is locked tight. Well, we could try climbing over using the street pole, but the gate seems like... Well, the gate's locked. Crowbar. Duh. Alright, uh, crowbar, crowbar, crowbar. Come on. Thank you. Alright, gate's open. Let's go. Ha! We're in. Good work, Snazek. Okay, Silva. Let's go in. How are we gonna play it, boss? The old sea dog might not be too loquacious concerning his treasures. We may need to make him talk. That's if the gold is even hidden. If it is senile as we suspect, he may have stacks of it piled up all around. Don't go too hard on the old goat. We'll do what we need to. The screams of an old man can be easily muffled. Silva, hit that. You've hit the nail on the head. Snaznik, wait for us in the car. We should be back in an hour, at the most. Sounds like a plan, Ricci. 
Remember, be gentle. And that was the last I ever saw of them. They all died. The end. No, honestly, since this is based, but he moved. His light turned off. Oh, shoot. One hour later. It's a Cthulhu novel, so <laughs> they probably did. What the heck is taking them so long? What's happened? They better not have knocked the old fella off. I told them, I told them, I said don't go too hard on the old goat. I think the old goat went too hard on them. Ah, uh, here they come. Aha, the old goat himself. I got my thumbnail picture. Bam. And they all died. Little things make considerable excitement in little towns, which is the reason that Kingsport people talk all that spring and summer about the three unidentifiable bodies, horribly slashed as with many cutlasses and horribly mangled as by the tread of many cruel boot heels, which the tide washed in. Okay. Oh. And some people even spoke of things as trivial as the deserted motor car found on Ship Street, or certain especially inhuman cries, probably of a stray animal or migratory bird, heard in the night by wakeful citizens. But in this idle village gossip, the terrible old man took no interest at all. He was by nature reserved, and when one is aged and feeble, one's reserve is doubly strong. And when one is a mass murderer, Besides, he does need... so ancient a sea captain say must it. have witnessed scores of things much more stirring in the far-off days of his unremembered youth. Okay. The end. That was it. That was the game. That was... That was The Terrible Old Man, based on the story by H.P. Lovecraft, adaptation and programming by... Oh, okay, I'm not reading all this. This is going to take too, way too long. It'll do its thing. Whatever. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. While well, the credits roll, oh, thanks for you for playing. I hope you enjoyed. Oh, gosh, what was that? What is this? A new adventure. Oh! <gasps> I went to a new adventure. Coming 2020. How rude. Fine. Make me wait. Ready thy wish list. I shall. I forgot who made this game. I need to go look it up. It was a freebie. Oh. Cloak and Dagger. They told me. Just, they're like, just in case you forgot. Like you just said you forgot. That was a pretty fun game. I liked that. Um, it was slower, and there wasn't much of any like action or horror. Like it, it all led up to that one pivotal moment, and then it was like this just tiny little cutscene. Um, but it was a quick, fun little thing to do for Spooktober. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please like the smash button. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing. And if you do, hit the bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a video. Thank you guys so much for watching again, and I will see all of you guys in the next video.